Hello everybody, today you are going to be learning how to optimize your video for every single platform for free using only your phone. Premiere Pro has had a feature called Auto Reframe for about a year now and just this week it was introduced into Premiere Rush which is Adobe's free mobile editing software. Essentially what this feature does is allow you to use artificial intelligence to convert your horizontal videos to vertical or square formats without cutting off your subject, which is really useful when posting to sites like Instagram which favor vertical and square content. So without any further hesitation, let's jump into Premiere Rush, which can be accessed for free on your phone or computer. To get started, go into an edited project within the Premiere Rush app. As you can see, I have a project that was shot in horizontal format. To first head down to the toolbar at the bottom of the screen and towards the center, you should see a button with a vertical and horizontal rectangle overlapping each other. Upon clicking on this, you'll be presented with four presets. The first being your average 16x9 widescreen video, the next being a vertical video, the last two being a square, and a rectangle slightly taller than a square. Simply click on whichever you desire and you should see your project converted to that aspect ratio. Now that we've converted the project to the size that we want, we need to actually add the auto reframe effect to all of our clips. Some of your clips may be framed to your liking, so this effect only has to be applied to clips where your subject actually gets cut off. In my case, this first clip here looks pretty good, but as you can see, this next clip isn't looking too hot. The guy's face gets completely cut off. So what you're gonna do is click on your clip and then head down to the toolbar and look for the effects button located at the bottom right. Now by default, clicking this will show us transitions, but we wanna click the motions tab right at the bottom. Now we can actually see the auto reframe effect. To apply it, all we have to do is tap it and you should see our subject move back to the center of the screen. What's really great about this is the effect menu gives you some more granular control over how your auto reframe looks. I suggest giving your clip a look to see if it needs adjusting. I personally think the motion here is a bit too strong, so what I'll click is motion tracking, which is located right next to the motion tab in the menu bar. And upon clicking this, I'll be presented with three options, slower, default, and faster. Now, of course, I want to slow it down, so I'll tap slower. And as you can see, it should be slightly better. So after switching the motion tracking to slower, I think it looks a lot better. So be sure to go give your clips a look before you export it out. That's about all for this clip. So just go through your project and add the effect to any other clips that need it. As a rule of thumb, I would suggest exporting anything for Instagram posts in the four x five aspect ratio, anything for Facebook in 16 by nine and anything for social media stories in the vertical format. The good part about the auto reframe effect is even if you go back into your project and change the frame size, the effect will automatically adjust to suit this change. Now just hit the share button in the top right corner and export to your desired locations and you are done. That about wraps it up for this tutorial and as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.